As an American worker, you have decisions that you may be asked to make. One of these is to decide whether you want a union workplace. In the early to mid-1900s, a number of manufacturing, textile, and industrial employees established unions to secure certain rights. Now, federal law provides many of these rights through the Fair Labor Standards Act, the Federal Minimum Wage Law, occupational safety regulations, and through other federal, state, and local requirements. What's more, hotel workers often receive better protection and benefits at their workplace than current federal and state laws require. As a result, union membership has fallen dramatically in the past 50 years. Many manufacturing and industrial jobs that were once the focus of union organizers have been outsourced to other countries. Today, fewer than one in ten American workers choose union representation. This has resulted in a push by labor organizers to find new industries to target for unionization, such as the service and hotel industry. Consequently, you are now a prime target for union organizers who are determined to boost their membership and want to require that your hotel become a union workplace. You need to determine whether you want to absorb the cost of union dues and the limitations that a union workplace at your hotel may bring. To make this decision, it is vital that you have full information. Today, your decision on whether to have a union workplace is initially made by signing a union authorization card. A union authorization card is a form that union organizers provide for employees to sign. It is important for you to know that when you sign a union authorization card, it means you want a union in your workplace. Paid union organizers may attempt to pressure you and your co-workers into signing these union authorization cards. Union organizers are often individuals hired by unions to convince hotel employees to form a union. In certain cases, they may be your co-workers who have been recruited and sometimes paid by the unions to obtain employee signatures for a unionization campaign. Your signature on a union authorization card is like your vote. Your decision is not made in private. Anyone, union reps and co-workers, can know whether you've signed the card and whether or not you want to join a union. While some union campaigns are pursued in a legitimate manner, unfortunately, Many union organizers have resorted to deceptive and misleading tactics to try to get signatures on union authorization cards by hotel employees. Please note, this video includes actual statements by hotel employees regarding their experience with unionization attempts and union operations at their properties. Certain employees have asked that their identities be kept confidential. They tried with their tactics by, by lying to people about getting them to sign up for cards. They uh, told people that they wanted their address because they wanted to send them Christmas cards. Uh, a lot of people that uh, signed for these didn't realize that they were getting, uh, you know, union cards. And almost everyone wanted their cards back, but we found out that it was very difficult. Uh, the union hall here said, no, you can't get them. You have to sign this. You have to send it in certified. And they make it so difficult to get that card back. Union organizers who are seeking your signature on their authorization cards may approach you while you are doing your job, while you are enjoying your break, or when you are trying to get home at the end of your shift, and they may not stop there. I was actually over at my parents' house, and uh, they stopped by my parents' house, so I wasn't really sure how they knew where my parents lived, but there was actually two people um, when they tried to initially get me to sign the sheet. Um, and then they told us that the sheet wasn't, um, wasn't going to be for a petition. It was just um, a sheet to sign saying that they had stopped by the house, that they had talked to me about um, the union, what it was. But I saw the sheet again when they brought it in, and they had transferred my signature from another sheet onto another sheet. So it was on a completely separate sheet that from what I signed. It just looked very, very shady, I guess you could say, kind of um, dishonest. Paid union organizers may attempt to pressure you and your co-workers into signing union authorization cards. 
They may push for such signatures by making promises they can't keep, such as promises of higher wages, increased benefits, and reduced workloads. Fact. Unions cannot guarantee an increase in wages, benefits, or reduced workloads. These decisions will always be made by your employer. The truth is that unionization does not necessarily lead to increased wages. In fact, it can result in lower wages or the same level of wages that employees were previously paid. With or without a union, your employer makes the ultimate decisions on employee compensation, benefits, and conditions at your workplace. Fact, there is only one thing that union organizers can guarantee employees. They can guarantee that employees may be subject to union dues. If your hotel becomes a union workplace, union dues may be deducted from your paycheck. Hotel union dues vary across the country, but they can be as high as $81 a month, depending on the city and the union bylaws. This is money that comes out of your pocket each month. Over a year, this can amount to nearly $1,000. A million dollar employees in the housekeeping department um, have bills to pay and don't have extra money for union dues. Um, my employer treats me right and I like it and I, don't, I have a good relationship with my supervisor and the general manager, and I like it that way, so I don't need someone interfering with that. Fact, union dues are not used for your health benefits or for your retirement. So where do your union dues go? They are used to support political candidates and pay the salaries and expenses of union leaders but if that's really what the union is um, set up for, is to protect employees, then that money should be totally earmarked for the employees, not to be turned back around to be used for um, fundraising for politicians or for their own um, extravagance. And there are other serious consequences to signing a union authorization card and operating under a union workplace. To me, adding the union into the mix only makes for a more stressful situation and you do have to be prepared to go on strike if that's what the union tells you to do. You'll be out of a paycheck depending on how long the strike is and you know when you get back to work it's not a guarantee that you know you'll be able to get what you want. I found that working in a union versus a non-union environment and a union many times you couldn't reach out and ask someone to help you because you'd get that it's not my job. In a non-union environment, we work as a family. It's kind of like cogs in a wheel. We all work together for a common goal. I know if I get in trouble, I can look over and someone at the, the front desk will come running to help me out. And in turn, if I see that someone is getting in the weeds, I'm right there beside them because we all have the same goal, and that's customer satisfaction. That's doing our best and taking pride and knowing we will be rewarded for the efforts we put forth. Being part of a union is a choice, your choice. You need to decide whether it's the right thing for you, taking into consideration what will change with union membership. I think that it would um, kind of break up the team. You know, they didn't have union representatives re representing every department. Um, so, you know, it just, I think it would break up the team morale that we have right now. Whenever, wherever you are approached, remember, you have a right to say no if you do not want to join a union. Don't be intimidated or tricked into signing your rights away. The good news is that you don't have to sign a union card if you don't want to join a union you have a right to say no. Remember, whatever you hear, whatever anyone tells you, you don't have to sign the card. No. I mean, you do not have to join a union. You don't have to um, sign anything that they give you. Just flat out just say, I'm not really interested in 
in joining the union. Um, and then if you still have problems, just contact your human resources department. I simply tell them that I'm very happy and I don't need the union, that we would appreciate that they, you know, give us our space and give us respect and let us come to work on, in our hotel without their pressure. You are the one in control of your workplace rights. If you aren't interested in joining a union, firmly tell the union organizers you aren't interested. If they continue to press you to sign their card and you feel intimidated or think that you are being misled, tell your supervisor. Union organizers are not allowed to harass you. Harassment is against the law. Remember, it's your right to say no. It's your right to say no to signing a union authorization card and it's your right to say no to a union in a secret ballot election. It's your workplace and your decision. Stand up for your rights. Speak to your supervisor if you have questions.